The last few weeks for us have been incredibly busy. Rock climbing, mountain biking, backpacking through the Grand Canyon, and going to our very first van life meetup. It's been absolutely unreal and epic experiences all around. I'm a freaking machine. But we're ready for a break. I'm exhausted. <laughs> we don't want to just take a break without doing something that we haven't done before. So with that being said, we're going glamping. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is sweet. I am so relaxed. I'm giving birth to myself. That's all in my face, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> Dear mom. I'm so cold. <laughs> Typically, you're going to find us traveling the country in our self-converted van. And a lot of people would say, hey, that is glamping. But to us, real glamping is having the camping experience plus a little bit of bougie sprinkled on top. So that's what we're really excited to do. And our first experience glamping is gonna be at Glamping Canyonlands. When you get here, it's all self-check-in. So what you do is find the mailbox with your name on it and grab your things. In the mailbox, you're gonna find some rules, regulations, a little bit of instruction of how to handle the property and how to order breakfast, which we'll do right now. Coffee is complimentary, but you can choose to have a banana loaf or a muffin in the morning. All right, we're gonna be fed in the morning. There are five tents available at Glamping Canyonlands. There's the sunset tent, the sage tent, the mesa tent, and the mountain tent. Today, Matt and I are staying in the Stargazer tent. So let me give you a tour. When you walk into the tent, you are greeted with some beautiful decorations, a lot of color and a lot of space, especially compared to the van that we have. This glamping tent is almost 200 square feet of space. On the right side of the tent are some outdoor blankets, which is gonna be great because it's gonna be pretty cold tonight. They also left out a possibility for us to send a postcard, which is great because we kind of owe one to Matt's mom. We have a bench, extra blankets, a place to put your dirty towels, and they gave us some. We're definitely gonna put on these fake candles tonight and light up the space. And the big item of the room is the bed. Let's see how comfy it is. <laughs> wow, that's pretty comfy. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be so cozy tonight. <laughs> the tent also comes with two chairs where we can just lounge around, hang out, and just enjoy. <laughs> we had to open the little flap so that we can get some airflow in here. It got a little hot. Keisha and Eric kindly put together a local guide where you can see which hikes are around and give you suggestions on what to do in the area. We are right next to Canyonlands National Park, also Arches and Moab, so it is an adventurer's dream out here. We're also not gonna forget to put our name in this guest journal, and it looks like a bunch of people have already talked about how amazing their stay was. So, we're gonna be one of those people. So it's gonna be pretty cold at night, Thankfully, they have a little Mr. Buddy heater and we have a little propane tank. We're gonna be perfectly heated and perfectly fine tonight. Look at these guys. They look a little angry. The sun is right on top of us and it's a little hot, so we're just gonna put this cover up. I'm just gonna put it up so that we can get a little bit of shade. Whew, that is so much better. Whew. On the outside of the tent, we're provided with a little cooler to put our food in and two Adirondack chairs to enjoy the outdoors. Just like you would expect at any other campsite, we have a fire ring and a grill top. We're definitely gonna make some dinner tonight on a fire. It's been a while since Matt and I have been camping, so this is really exciting. And a place to sit. It's gonna be awesome. Yay! What makes this place way different than any other campsite that you're gonna go find is they have a beautiful bathroom that's newly renovated that includes a shower. They also have a rain shower head, which is gonna be so nice to enjoy after a night of camping. When you're done showering, you can hang your towels on these little butt hooks. That'd <laughs> be cute. I think this bathroom definitely gives this whole vibe a house vibe instead of like a camping cement vibe. It's awesome. Let's go to the kitchen. This communal kitchen has everything you would want in a kitchen and everything that you need while you're camping. We have an oven, we have spices, we have some cutting boards, all of the pots and pans that you might need for your dinner, a grill, if you so choose to use one, cooking utensils, eating utensils, 
plates, bowls. They also have some mugs here that we can take to use and some hot water constantly flowing just in case we want some hot chocolate or tea or anything like that. Typically they will have running water, but since it's the winter, it's turned off. So they have this igloo full of water, which you can use to wash your dishes. All right, let's go check out the hammocks. Outside of the kitchen, you have the ability to buy some wood, some propane, or anything you might need for the night. And they also have these hammocks that you can just come and hang out, read a book, relax, get away from your husband. They're super colorful. Can I get my hands on it? <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. oh, that hammock's made for you, baby. All right, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Wanna hold hands? Nope. Do you? I guess not. All right, <laughs> This is uncomfortable. Yep. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, guys. As much as I love our van, I think it's getting to us. <laughs> You know, we work a lot, so there are days where we don't leave the van at all. But if we can just get out, get some exercise, get some space, I think we will join together in unity and be a lot less angry. I agree. <laughs> mm. Alright, can you make the guacamole this round? I made it last time. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. <laughs> Tomorrow is Matt and I's four-year anniversary of the day we met. Ooh. Lucky you. I know. What a wild ride it's been. I was barely able to get a five-minute nap in before Megan <laughs> came back with the guacamole, so I think I just need some fuel and maybe some water, and I think I'm going to feel better. I don't think I really need a nap. <sighs> Oops, we accidentally slept in for, what, two hours? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's six o'clock now, so the sun's going to be going down, so we better get dinner started fast. But we both have to pee, so... Ratio! We're going real fast! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm like, oh... Uh... Everything come out okay? You know, everyone could use a little bit of extra fiber. <laughs> Keisha and Eric's property is right next to some state trust land, and there are cows just hanging out right there. Oh, that one's fast. Hi. I'm giving birth to myself. All right, so Megan's in charge of making food. I'm in charge of making fire. Let's get started. All right, my mom just mailed us a bunch of junk mail and all of our tax stuff, and since we don't need it anymore, there's no sense in carrying around a bunch of old paperwork in the van. We got some prime kindling right here. Not my best work, not my worst work, but you know, you do what you can. I'm in the kitchen, and while Matt is making the fire, I'm gonna prepare our nachos for the night. We used to make campfire nachos all the time, but it's been a while since we've cooked on the fire, so I'm excited. All right, how do I work this thing? Do I need a lighter? Ah, there we go. Yay! All right, let's cook up the meat. Thankfully, they have all of the seasonings that I need so I don't have to grab them from the van. Okay, quick break. I need to go get the chips. Whew, how's the fire going? Started. Nacho nachos. Ooh, those look good. Yeah, that's gonna be really good. Mm. I put the cheese on the bottom. I hope that's not a mistake, but I figure all the heat comes from the bottom. I cannot wait to have these nachos. <laughs> How's it going, Matt? Well, I had it, and then I started moving it around so we could get the fire grate over it. And then um, it got really smoky because I think I moved it around way too much. I'm really hoping we can get this fire going because these nachos are calling my name. Well, the fire was going. But it's not now. It's clearly been a while since we've made a fire. <sighs> there we go. I guess I am a little out of practice. Ooh, baby. It's gonna be toasty. You hear them sizzle? Let's go. This smells delicious. It looks awesome. Megan, thanks so much for cooking. All right. Let's dig in. Oh, I have a little surprise. You can't have nachos without avocado. First bite. 
Mm. 10 out of 10. Perfect a little bit amount of burnt, perfect amount of toast, perfect amount of flavor. They can nailed it. I'm ready for dessert. Keisha gave us these gourmet s'mores kits and I'm gonna call them a little bougie. This flavor is called Moose Tracks, so it has peanut butter, chocolate, and marshmallows. All right, let's go. Mm. It's all over, all over my face. <laughs> mm. So worth it. And that chocolate was just like pressed down on the malo. It's all in my face, isn't it? <laughs> Special delivery. Mm. Delicious? Mm, that's good. Now that is service. That's good service. It's freezing. Happy anniversary of meeting me. Happy anniversary of meeting me. <laughs> Even though it is kind of chilly, it's awesome here. I'm saying mid-spring is probably where it's at. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if you guys haven't booked your spot already, definitely at the end of this video, go check it out. We're going to have them linked below. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try the cream cheese muffin. It looks so good. They really, they really bougie it up in this place. Mmm. All right, I got the banana loaf. Mmm. <laughs> Dear mom, Glampy Canyonlands was so fun. If you don't know what glamping is, it's like living in a tent, but with amenities. We had the awesomest snacks ever. We had gourmet s'mores. We had campfire nachos. We even got to see some awesome stars. If you ever came to Utah, I know you'd love it here. Love you, miss you. Say hi to the family for me. Love, Matt. 